Hi, this is Hassan Korani. In this video, we are going to study the equations of straight lines in for grade 10. Well, at the beginning, I'd like to make a quick revision about what you studied in grade 9 about straight lines and their equations. As you know, in a coordinate system, a general equation of a straight line is y equal ax plus b, where a and b are two real numbers. A is called, as you know, slope of d, or directing coefficient, or sometimes we call it gradient of d. While b is called the y-intercept, this number is called the y-intercept of d, it's where, it's where d intersects or meets the y-axis. Let's see graphical discussion about what we have said by considering this straight line of this equation y equal x plus 1 as you see a is 1 the slope is 1 and the y intercept or b is 1 let's discuss this if we keep the value of b 1 and let's change a and see what will happen to the graph of the straight line. As you see, by increasing a, the obliqueness of the straight line is increased and the straight line changes its obliqueness, its, pos its position, but it still passes through 0, 1. If I change a, decreasing, make it decreases, as you see, the straight line rotates. This indicates that A is the slope, and as we saw before, that A is called the directing coefficient. As you see, this direction of the straight line changes. As A, in, in this particular position, takes 0, let's say, what do you notice? A is horizontal straight line, so Y equal 1, and this is a horizontal straight line. Even if we make the straight line with positive slope, it is, as you see, the increasing straight line. If the slope is negative, it is a decreasing straight line. Let's now put A again 1 and let's change the value of B. As you see, as I change the value of B, the intersection of straight line with the y-axis changes also. And as you notice that B is 3 and the intersection point with Y axis is 0, 3, the ordinate of point of intersection. Okay, at this particular moment, Y equal just X, B is 0. Even if I change A, the slope changes, so the general form Y equal AX of a straight line, this graphically translated that the straight line passes through origin and you'll see this later. Okay, this is it. Now, an equation straight line is a relation between x and y with certain form, not any form, in such form. Okay, and in some references, in some books, the general equation is written usually in this form y equal mx plus c by changing the uh, letters uh, of slope and the winder set instead of ax plus b. Never mind, uh, we will consider this form in this year. Okay, how to find the slope of a line? If we know a, a straight line, of an e the equation of a straight line, and we want to find its slope, either from the equation or from two points lie, particular points lie on the straight line. The equation of the formula of slope is A equal Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2 as you see. What are these values represent? In fact, X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 are the coordinates of two points on this line. This is it. 
equation of particular straight lines as we saw previously on the graphical discussion the equation of straight line that pass through, through the origin will be y equal ax and the equation of a straight line that is parallel to x axis y equal constant horizontal straight line and the equation of straight line that is parallel to y axis if the, the system is orthonormal then the straight line will be vertical and its equation will be x equal constant or x equal c for constant c the equation of the x axis itself will be y equal zero and this is this comes from the fact that the x axis holds points whose ordinate is zero and the equation of the y axis is x equal zero as you know all the points on the y axis have uh, zero abscesses okay example directly determine the slope and the y intercept for each of the straight lines in the table below as you see we have some equations of straight lines y equal 2x plus 5 and this is direct it has the form of y equal ax plus b and the coefficient of x is 2 so the slope will be 2 and the y intercept will be 5 here a is 3 and B is negative 2 here is A is minus 4 and the Y and the Y intercept will be 1 here we have a particular straight line as we saw as we said uh, Y equal 13 X and plus 0 so the Y intercept will be 0 and the slope will be 13 in this case Y is isolated also on the left side and we have x over 2 minus 3 over 4. Be careful about the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x in this case is not 1. In fact, it's 1 over 2. So the slope will be 1 over 2. And the y-intercept is clear, minus 3 over 4. Okay. Now, be aware about these two forms of equations of straight lines. They are totally different from the previous one. But in fact, we can make them similar to those by... Uh, isolating y on the left side and taking all the other terms to the right side by doing this we can easily read or pick out the slope and the y-intercept of the straight line here we will get y equal negative 3 minus 5 so the slope will be minus 3 and the y-intercept will be minus 5 similarly here, here we can isolate it easily y it will be y equal minus x minus 1 and the slope will be minus 1 and the y-intercept will be minus 1 okay that's it how can we draw a straight line in a system as you know in order in geometry in general we need at least two particular points fixed points in order to draw a straight line and this can be done easily if we have the equation of a straight line let's consider this example uh, D has equation y equal to x minus 1 by as written here uh, by replacing x by any value you can get the corresponding value of y if we consider x equals 0 y will be minus 1 and we will get a point 0 minus 1 belongs to D in order to, need to have another point we just uh, replace x by any value for example 1 you will get y equal 2 minus 1 which is 1 also so the result point will be 1 1 that belongs to D by this way we just plot these, po these two points in a system and the system and we just join them to get the straight line okay note a point belongs to a straight line if its coordinates satisfy the equation of this, li this line and this is very important for later uh, concepts relative position of two straight lines which you sure studied previously in grade 9 two straight lines are parallel if their slopes are equal two straight lines are perpendicular if their the product of their slopes is minus 1 and two straight lines are secant or intersecting if their slopes are not equal in general Two straight lines are confounded or coincide if they 
their slopes are equal and the, their y-intercept are also equal. In fact, uh, graphically, they represent the same straight line. Well, till now we finished the revision. Now we are going to learn a new idea for this chapter, a direction vector of a straight line. From its name, as you know, any straight line has a direction, has obliqueness, certain obliqueness. A direction vector, from its name, it represents a vector that has the same direction as the straight line. So, a direction vector V of a straight line D, by definition, is a non-zero vector that has the same direction as D, that is graphically, that is parallel to D, or lies on D. As you see in this figure, we can notice that this straight line and this vector, this uh, straight line, sorry, and this vector have uh, the same direction, the same obliqueness. So this vector is considered as a direction vector for this straight line. Also this and this and this and that. All these vectors have the same direction, have the same obliqueness as D, so we can consider each one of them as a direction vector of D. Now, the question is, how many direction vector can we have for the same straight line? It's clear that we may have infinitely many direction vectors for the same straight line. And each two direction vectors for the same straight line are what? Are collinear. And this is a fact. All these are collinear vectors. Now, this is very important for later. If V is a direction vector of D, then for any K belongs to R star. Let me remind you by R star, this is the set of all non-zero real numbers. Then, multiplying V by K will get a new vector and as you know from chapter 1 about vectors, V and KV are collinear. So this is V and if we multiply KV, let's say half V or three over, minus 3 over 4 V, we will get another vector but sure these two vectors must be collinear. So, as a conclusion, if V is a direction vector of D, memorize it, then multiplying V by any, any real number, non-zero real number, this vector will be also considered as a direction vector of D. Okay, particular cases, in a system OIJ we have any straight line parallel to x-axis, horizontal straight line, let's say, admits i as a direction vector. And this is very clear. And its slope is zero. And we saw this in the graphical discussion previously. Any straight line parallel to y-axis admits j as a direction vector. And this is also clear, and be aware about this. Its slope is undefined. It has no slope. If a straight line, if the straight line is parallel to y-axis, y, you may choose any two points, particular points on this straight line, vertical straight line, if the system is orthonormal. And if you use the formula of slopes, you will get uh, an undefined number. For this reason, we say it has no slope. We don't say that the slope is zero, just for horizontal one. Okay, this is the end of part one. I hope uh, that you join enjoyed what we have said. Thank you.